everybody. We're here at Automate 2023 in Detroit, Michigan, North America's largest automation technology conference and exhibit. And I'm lucky enough to be standing next to Greg Goings over at Freudenberg today. Greg, how are you doing? Ah, great day, thank you. Awesome. Can thank you start you. off by telling us a little bit about Freudenberg? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Freudenberg is a 174-year-old company. I mean, a lot of experience. We really focus in the ceiling industry on a lot of different challenging applications, which quite honestly is one of the reasons why we're here at uh, Automate this year. Mm -hmm. It's the second year doing it, and we're really looking forward to it. I mean, we bring a lot of innovative solutions into the market, right. and uh, we're really excited to kind of showcase these out there in the industry. Fantastic. So, where are we going to go to first? First off, let's talk about a little bit about our IPSR seal, and we'll head over this way. All right, so we're here now with Steve over at the IP seal demonstration. Steve, can you tell us a little bit about what makes this Cobot seal so special? Sure. Yeah, since Cobots have been used in more and more applications, uh, it's become necessary to also make them seal tight to contamination, such as water and dirt, right. which is in the various applications where they're going to be used. And this is where the IP seal came into play. It's basically being developed using the most up-to-date software, FEA software, to ensure the best sealing function, uh, but at the same time, to keep the friction to an absolute minimum, which is very critical in this, this type of application. Um, what type of applications best benefit from the use of the IP seal? Yeah, uh, as far as cobots are concerned, um, any typical type of application could be used. They could be used for welding, for instance. Okay. Uh, could be used in, in areas that would be see water splashing. Yeah. Anywhere where, where we'd, you'd expect sort of ex external contamination right. would then be possible. Okay. And what does that do for the reliability of the overall system? Just introducing this small ceiling yeah. part. Yeah. This basically keeps the contamination out of the wrist joints on the cobots. And this ensures that no dirt gets in, which will then contaminate the grease, which will cause wear. So this extends the entire life of the entire arm. Fantastic. Have you done any studies in terms of what that might mean for a, for a particular customer? I mean, any kind of percentage benefit we can expect or maybe reduce cycle times for maintenance or? Uh, up until now, we've only done tests in labs. Right. Um, so now the two main customers of ours have ordered tooling. Uh, to take parts out to do field testing, and after these tests are complete, we'll have information on what it actually brings. But Fantastic. we're expecting big things, yeah. I'm looking forward to that news. We'll be sure to share with you as soon as we can. All right, so let's relocate and see what else is in the booth. Okay. All right, so I'm here with Benjamin, and Benjamin's got something new to show us here on the seal line at Freudenberg. Yeah. We have a new seal, sealing technology uh, and a new sealing solution for shaft seals. So bi-directionally, uh, dynamic um, shaft seal applications for grease and uh, oil lubrication. Right. And this is the product what you have. So I understand you've got a, a sine wave optimization here. Yeah. So there are several sine waves on the circumference, uh, which enables a lot of benefits in terms of low friction and high robustness. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. So uh, we're extending the life of the, the, the cobot or industrial robot itself while protecting the overall operation, cutting down on downtime, certainly critical across the board. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's always a matter of the tribological system. Mm -hmm. uh, we need low friction, um, and this seal enables a low friction, which means at the end, less stress to the whole tribological system, right. consisting of the seal, the shaft, and the lubricant. Fantastic. And additionally, due to this sine wave and this wiping effect, mm -hmm. it's wiping particles away, which comes in onto the ceiling edge, which are on the system. Um, and uh, this, is, this enables them a more robust system, a more right. robust solution for high service life. Fantastic. I understand that we might have some other new products to see in the boot. Do you mind yeah, if we sure. go check them out? Yeah. Great, right, thank you. So I'm here with Scott, who's going to tell us a little bit about Freudenberg's new line of custom gaskets. What can you tell us, Scott? Yeah, our soft metal gaskets are a static sealing solution. Uh, they contain a metal carrier. That metal carrier can be uh, aluminum, cold rolled steel, or stainless, uh, and feature an elastomeric coating on both sealing surfaces. Um, when they get stamped uh, to a customer's plan view shape, we add an embossment. That embossment uh, localizes the installation forces from the bolting to seal the fluids internal and external of the application. We can also add uh, some additional features like our clips that help retain the part 
uh, in the application if it's done at a tier and is shipped elsewhere. Scott, thanks for sharing this information with us. Now, let's go see what else is new inside the booth. Okay, so I'm here with Umut, who's going to tell us a little bit about something different than the ceiling products we've been looking at at Freudenberg so far. What do you got to show us, Umut? Hello. So, uh, our magnetic encoders are used in the motion control system. So, in addition to ceiling elements, we also provide solution for the motion control. Motion control means we detect the speed and position of the rotation shaft by using these magnetic encoders. So magnetic encoders is made of a metal part covered with a rubber layer. And rubber layer is filled with ferrites. And these ferrites are, uh, un after a specific process, which is called magnetization, mm -hmm. we create pole pairs. And pole pairs are detected by a magnetic sensor while the shaft is rotating. So in an absolute position, we can detect the position and speed of the shaft by using the uh, pole pairs in the magnetic sensor. So what are the benefits of the magnetic encoder, say, over the optical encoders? Yeah, uh, there are a couple of uh, benefits. Uh, some, some of them are, uh, first of all, they are uh, smaller than the traditional encoders, so downsizing is one of the benefits. Right. And second one, the optical encoders are really sensitive to the environment. But magnetic encoders are resistant to high temperature, high speeds, humidity, and uh, difficult working conditions, which contains oil, dust, dirt, etc. So they are not affected. The signals are not affected from the uh, environment easily. So this is the biggest benefit of the magnetic encoders. Greater reliability is an important aspect for anyone. So that, absolutely, that's, that's fantastic. To absolutely, hear about. accuracy brings the reliability. Uh, and with magnetic encoders, we are also now able to use uh, multiple tracks, which gives a better accuracy compared to the uh, single track encoders. Umit, this is fantastic. Thanks for sharing with us today. Please give the rest of the team our very best. And we look forward to hearing about more new products from Freudenberg. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you.